This display shows the SIMS Climate Digest for September 2015, featuring highlights from the U.S. and global analysis products issued each month by NOAA. The Climate Digest conveys a visual interpretation of recent weather and climate conditions worldwide. September 2015 was the warmest September on record, with a combined average global land and ocean temperature 1.62 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 0.90 degrees Celsius above the 20th century average. Large regions of Earth's land surfaces were much warmer than average, with record warmth observed across northeastern Africa and the Middle East. The northern half of South America and central portions of North America were also warmer than normal. Southern South America, northwestern North America, and a swath across Central Asia were cooler than average. Precipitation highlights included Australia, which saw its third driest September on record. Above average precipitation was recorded in the countries of China, Mongolia, and Japan, with some locations receiving nearly twice the monthly average. Norway had its sixth warmest September since records began in 1900. In contrast, Spain had its coldest September since 1996. The contiguous United States had its second warmest September on record, with an average temperature of 68.5 degrees Fahrenheit, or 3.7 degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average. Record and near-record warmth spanned most of the country, with record warm conditions reported by nine states in the Northeast, Midwest, and Southwest. Overall, the U.S. lower 48 experienced below normal precipitation in September. However, remnants of Hurricane Linda brought heavy rainfall to the southwest before heading north to fuel flash flooding in Utah, where 20 people were killed. Warm and dry conditions across the southern plains and lower Mississippi Valley led to drought intensification. According to the U.S. Drought Monitor, 31.4% of the contiguous U.S. was in drought by the end of September. This real-time data set shows sea surface temperature anomalies for September measured by NOAA satellites. Blue colors indicate cooler than normal ocean temperatures, and red indicates warmer than normal ocean temperatures. The September global sea surface temperature was 1.46 degrees Fahrenheit or 0.81 degrees Celsius above the 20th century average. This resulted in the highest departure on record for the month of September. According to NOAA's Climate Prediction Center, El Nino conditions will peak during the late fall, early winter with a 95% chance of continuing through the Northern Hemisphere winter. This year's strong El Nino is expected to influence weather and climate patterns this winter by impacting the position of the jet stream. This real-time dataset collected by microwave sensors on NOAA satellites shows snow and ice cover updated daily. Watch the progression of days and note the retreat and expansion of snowfall. The September 2015 sea ice extent for the Arctic was 28.9% below the 1981-2010 average, which is the fourth smallest September sea ice extent since satellite records began in 1979. The Antarctic ice extent was 0.5% below the 1981-2010 average, which is the 16th smallest sea ice extent for the month of September. And that's your September 2015 Climate Digest. For more information, please visit the website shown at the end of this video.